Tiger Stadium, Detroit, Michigan. The Lions coming out onto the field to face the Chicago Bears in a game that was ultimately to produce the terrible tragedy of Chuck Hughes. This is first quarter action. The Bears trailing three to nothing, but Don Shy taking the handoff from Southpaw quarterback Bobby Douglas, bursting 21 yards for the touchdown, and the Bears lead it seven to three. No thought at this time of what was to occur later. Second quarter action, 13-15 remaining. Chicago leading 7-6. Bobby Douglas throwing long to George Farmer. Farmer taking the ball and going in all by himself. The Bears now leading 14-6 over the Lions. This margin was short-lived. This is the very next kickoff. Mac Percival kicking off for the Bears. The ball taken by Ron Jessup. And can this youngster go? He broke one earlier this year that you viewers will remember from our halftime highlight show. Moving down the left sideline now with excellent downfield blocking. Jesse pours on the speed. He goes 102 yards for the touchdown. And quickly, the score is lessened to 14 to 13 in favor of Chicago. We are still in the second quarter. Now Detroit is leading 20 to 14. The southpaw again, Bobby Douglas. His coach moved in with him to prepare him for this game, and it seems to have worked. The quick touchdown popper to Bob Wallace, and Chicago leads 21-20 to over Detroit. This is the last play of the third quarter. Detroit has reassumed the lead, 23-21. to Greg Landry, the Detroit quarterback, drops back. You must watch this play closely. The ball is tipped by Doug Buffon, tipped away, intercepted by Jimmy Gunn. Now watch this. Lateral to Charlie Ford. Stumbles over a fallen now defending Lion. Picks up very little additional yardage. But the scene is set for fourth quarter action. And with only four minutes and four seconds gone, Bobby Douglas keeps it, goes in for the score. The Bears win 28-23. But the whole game washed away because of the loss of Chuck Hughes.